Hey guys, welcome back uh, to the Ramen Bowl where every week there's a new flavor of the week and this week's flavor is Lucifer and the Biscuit Hammer, uh, also known as Samadari of the Stars in Japan. Yeah, um, first of all, before we get into things, whatever you've read about like in reviews or whatever, please ignore them. They're probably pretentious. It's probably a lot of pretentious re review writers. The anime studio isn't really all that well known and they're kind of a small studio so like give them a chance all right give them give them a second to get there um so this story basically centers on this like reclusive uh edge lordy kind of kind of dude like in college uh, he kind of he was a went through trauma when he was younger went through some sort of like it looks like it was abuse some sort of abuse when he was younger so now he kind of like just hates the world and t and he ends up having to he gets an encounter with this weird lizard this is gonna sound strange but he wakes up like the scene w starts where he wakes up and he's just staring eye to eye in this fucking lizard and this lizard starts talking and tells him that he needs to save the world but he kind of hates the world so he's kind of like fuck no felt hurt got it um, he starts feeling that way until he meets um, someone who supposedly is like a princess and she's like, hey, save the planet with me and him, I don't know what it is about her, but he's like, yeah, I'm gonna do that. It's a really weird story because she's not saving the planet to like, because like, she's gonna like not have it implode or whatever. She, her mindset is, I love the planet so much that whatever is out there trying to destroy, destroy the planet, I'm going to destroy it so that it can be destroyed by my hands. Very complicated, very convoluted. But he ends up sh she ends up showing him the threat, which is in fact a giant biscuit hammer. Like one of those hammers, like old timey hammers that you get to pound dough. The plot's wild. The plot's fucking wild. Um, it's a pretty good anime. Uh, again, it, like I said, it is kind of focusing on this edge lordy kind of dude. And then the girl, uh, the, the princess, she doesn't make any fucking sense. She's like this tomboy country bumpkin type kind of person that just goes out and just whooping ass. In fact, there's like a bunch of characters that are out here just whooping ass for no reason. Um, I think one of the cons of the show is the fact that it is kind of fast paced. It's not necessarily... It feels like it's gonna be a 12 episode kind of anime, which is normal and fine, but like we've not even reached up to 12 episodes and we've had multiple deaths. We've met characters and then like two episodes later they've died. We have all kinds of versions of like people going through inner turmoil and it's not even like a full season yet. Like the main character has changed his mind on killing everybody about three or four times well he's kind of like dead set on it but like his motivations are different and things are kind of weird so like that's it's a con in that sense but it's a plus in the sense that you don't have time to get bored of it like there's so much going on there's so many different aspects of it there is no time for you to be like okay well this is dragging it, it, there is no drag there's no time for drag so that's i guess like a pro there um also plot wise there's so many different plot lines there's got to be at least like one of them that you'll like that's a decent one um i can't personally i can't say that it's one of my favorites it's uh from what the y'all already know i don't like edgelords they're fucking annoying like chill out um i don't necessarily like the the princess because bitch what are you doing like what are you what do you mean you love the planet and your idea to save the planet is to smash it with your own hands? Like you got it. You have to watch it to find figure it out. Um, I watched it on Crunchyroll and if it's on Crunchyroll because, you know, all the services got married at some point. So if it's on Crunchyroll, you can probably find it on uh, it was on VRV. Yes, VRV and Crunchyroll are married. Um, so you can watch it on there. If I were to rate it, I would probably give it like three out of five slurps. It's not that great. It's like I said, the plot line's super fast. So like sometimes you feel a little bit lost. The plot, 
doesn't make a lot of sense but there's always like this element of like what if like what is going on like you want the reason you want to watch is because it's like what the fuck is happening here um so yeah if you want to watch it like i said crunchyroll vrv it might be on funimation because all of them are married um if you have any other animes you want to recommend me, please do recommend me. We have DMs open in Instagram, Twitter. You can email us. All that information is going to be in the description below. Um, yeah, recommend me a new anime and it might be the next new flavor of the week. And if you, again, if you don't like anything I say, you can argue about it in the comments. All right, bye.